Hi guys, it's Sam here from Ellie Rose Potty Designs and in today's Pick Monkey Monday tutorial we're going to be learning about how you can customize your own digital wallpaper and the wallpaper we're going to be using is a polka dot theme, a stripe one and also a chevron. What's great about these templates is that you can customize to any color you want with your party theme so or even with your clip art. All right, so with that being said, let's get straight into it. So we are in PicMonkey's front screen, and for those of you that are new to PicMonkey, PicMonkey is an online photo editing software, but I will link down below this video where you can um, click on to, to have a look more. All right, so now PicMonkey are rolling um, over a new beta system, and I'm not, I can't promise you that it's gonna look exactly the same as how I'm gonna show you in a few months time because I haven't actually logged into their beta system yet so I'm not too sure how different it is so I apologize in advance if it is completely different but hopefully it's it will still be the same um, way of doing it in a few months time okay so what we're going to do is you're going to click on to design and we're going to click on to custom size now our size is going to be 3000 pixels by 3000 pixels now 3000 pixels is equal to 12 inches and majority of your digital wallpaper is 12 inches by 12 inches so that's the reason why we are customizing it to 3000 pixels by 3000 pixels and we're going to hit now we're in the main screen of pick monkey okay so what we're going to do now is I'm just going to hit apply and I'll show you there's two different ways I'm going to show you how you can customize your colors okay so let's go over here to canvas sorry graphics and we're actually going to bring in our templates okay we're just bringing the first template which is going to be let's go with the small paper um, with a small stripe pattern okay and all you're going to do then is drag it to the top and drag it to the bottom so that it fills your entire canvas all right and then just hit off it all right the next thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to bring in some clip art because i'm actually wanting to customize this digital wallpaper to the same color as the clip art that i'm going to be using in my for my decorations okay so let's just go and find it. Okay, I thought I would go with this beautiful little butterfly. All right. And what I'm going to do is, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here, which is the same area as your graphics, and then geometrics, which is the top, the top um, tab. And I'm just going to click onto this little square and you'll understand what I'm going to be doing in just a second okay so all I'm going to do is I'm going to customize this box to a particular color that's on this temp on this clip art okay so let's go with this beautiful little red like a maroon color okay now this little box is now changed to a particular color that I like in this butterfly all right so now if we scroll down here or we push the arrow key it brings up the hex code which is the color code of that particular color that's in that box all right and i'm just going to right click copy okay we're then going to go back over here to our canvas color which is the the background of your canvas and i'm going to go just over here and i'm going to right click and i'm going to hit paste Sorry, let's just delete all of these first. Right click and hit paste. Okay, so now my hex code, which is your color code, I have now been able to change it. To the, I have been able to change the canvas color, which is your background color, to that particular hex code, which is what I wanted. And I'm just going to hit apply. All right, so you can go over here and we can delete that. So all I did with that little, a little square box is just to figure out what the hex code is or what the color code is that I'm wanting because the canvas, your canvas um, tab over here, you aren't able to color match. Okay, so you have to find out what the hex code is. Okay, and apply. Okay, now let's go back over to our graphics 
and I am now wanting to change the color of our stripes. So all I'm gonna do is you click onto that layer and we're gonna go over here and you're just gonna drop into the little picker tool, okay? And I'm wanting to change it to say, let's just make it like a pretty, like a bright color. Let's see here, right about there. Okay, let's go with that. All right, and then hit, hit that and release. And there we go. So I've been able to change those black stripes into any color that I wanted from this butterfly. Okay, so now we're just gonna delete the butterfly and there is our design. All right, so if you're wanting just to move it slightly bit up, you can so that it matches the same at the top as it does at the bottom. What you can also do is you can maybe do make little stripes like that, like on the, on the side. Okay, and then let's just drag you up. You can do something like that to keep going all the way, all the way. And it's not gonna let me do it because it's going off the canvas. So obviously the, the further up you go, the more likely it's the stripes are going to get a lot more thicker so let's just drag you further down okay and then here needs to go back out okay so you could even do something like that rotate the actual template to make a different um a different design all right something yeah something different so all you need to do then is once you've done that, you're just gonna have to flatten your image, all right, by clicking onto that. Now remember, if you go ahead and save this design, it's gonna be saved as a flat layer, okay? So remember to do what I'm gonna show you in just a second. So first of all, we're gonna export this. So let's export it. And I'm just going to say butterfly. And keep everything else the same and hit export and I'm just going to export it onto my desktop okay so what I would recommend you doing is hitting back and it brings up your layers okay and then hit save and then save it into the hub okay save it or save it you know, onto your hard drive wherever you want to save it okay so just remember that once it's flattened and you saved and you can't go back and re-edit it all right so make sure you do um, hit back first before you save it. Okay, so now let's give it a go with another type of design So I'm just going to go back here. We're going to go to the start and just Pretend that we right at the very beginning Okay, like there. All right, so now I'm going to go with say a polka dot um, a polka dot wallpaper and I'm wanting a uh, Baby Minnie Mouse theme. Okay, and I can't find the exact colors that I'm wanting So I'm going to just design them myself but instead of actually changing the canvas color, this is what we're going to do. So this is just a different way of doing it. Okay, so I'm just going to scroll it all the way up and all the way down and all the way down here. All right, so I'm pretty much making my own background. Okay, I'm then gonna go in here and I'm actually gonna import my clip art first. So let's go with, I've got quite a bit of, um, Mickey Mouse theme clip art. All right, so that is the clip art that I'm wanting to get the colors from. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to click onto my black box and I'm going to go over here. Actually, let's just bring back our because I deleted a by accident. All right, so let's go over here and I'm going to click onto my picker tool and I'm wanting this pretty pink. Say, for instance, I'm wanting that purpley pinky color okay now let's go and get our template which is a polka dot one um, let's go over here and let's go with these small little polka dots okay and let's drag you to the corner and drag you to the corner so obviously the further out you go the larger it gets okay and I'm just going to take that and I'm just going to drag it underneath my clip art so that my clip art is now on top okay but I'm still going to click onto that layer and I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to change my polka dots into like a pretty little blue color like that there okay and then I'm just going to delete that and there you go I've just now customized my own 
polka dots to match that particular clip art that I showed you. And now I can use that in my banners, my wall uh, my banners, my, um, my imitations, whatever you want to. All right, and then once again, let's flatten that. All right, and then we're gonna go export. Let's make it say mini. All right, you can obviously word it to whatever you want to. Go to desktop and hit OK. OK, so that's pretty much how you can customize by using these templates. So you're probably wondering where can I get these templates from? Well, the link for these templates you'll find in the description box down below this video. And it will take you to my Etsy store and that is where you can purchase these templates. So I think they are a great addition to add to your, um, your designing kits because it will help you and save you so much money and it's fun. And that's how simple and easy it is guys. So I've been dying to do this video for you guys for quite a while. I just haven't had a chance to actually sit down and make and record this video, but I have finally done it. Thank goodness. And I really hope you found that this was, this was useful. And um, I will do another video sometime this week or next week. And I will show you how we can actually use these wallpapers in your designing of your printables. Okay. And I think that's a great, um, also an important step of learning how to make your, your wallpaper. Because you need to be able to know how to use your wallpaper in your designs too. Alright, so stay tuned for that video. And I'll be showing you how to do that in the Silhouette Studio software. Okay, so once again, thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it. Please like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe. And I know you guys are enjoying these videos and I'll keep making them for you. Feel free to ask me any questions and if there's anything you're wanting to learn more about. All right, guys, take care. And once again, thanks for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.